Let's take this back to where this all began on Sunday morning. And we just got, for your information, more information from the IDF, the Israel Defense Forces, which is the Israeli military. This starts on Sunday morning when Israel launches a rare daytime strike on targets in Syria. That strike is called out by both the Russians and the Syrians. And then, in a fairly rare move, is acknowledged, or apparently acknowledged, by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on a trip to Africa. That strike, according to both the Russians and the Syrians, is intercepted. That is, a number of uh, Israeli missiles are intercepted by Syrian air defense. It is after that, and this is now Sunday afternoon, when Israel says Iran, Iran launched a medium-range surface-to-surface missile from near Damascus International Airport towards the northern part of the Israeli-occupied Golan Heights. That, in the video you just saw, is intercepted by Israel's Iron Dome aerial defense system. Israel's response is to target a number of Iranian forces, or what they say are Iranian forces, in Syria, both at Damascus International Airport and in the area. Israel says they targeted uh, munitions depots, intel sites, as well as a number of other sites. Israel says they conveyed to the Syrians a message that this is specifically going after Iranian forces, but when Syrian air defenses fired at Israeli aircraft, Israel then targeted, they say, those Syrian air defense batteries in and around Damascus. That brings us to now. The Israeli military remains at an elevated level of readiness in northern Israel. The ski site in the northern part of the Golan Heights has been shut down, but other than that, the Israeli military says everybody else is uh, living normally. There are no restrictions on civilian activity. So although it is an incredibly tense moment and an intense time uh, in northern Israel and in the Golan Heights, that's the situation as it stands right now.